Hello, hello, folks, and welcome back to Neo Scavenger. Honestly spoken, I do not remember the um, audio balance for this. Do I. Uh, what do I put it on? Do I put it on negative 8? Do I put it on nothing? What? This mic also seems a bit low. Or maybe it's just, just that I'm talking low. Not sure. Eh? Huh? Hmm. No idea. So, continue game. Would love to take a crowbar with me, but I have no space for it. Okay, this life does not have a... God damn it. There we go. Uh, hidden escape on those full screen. I swear there's some like UI difference, game differences between the base game and the demo. Or maybe I just never hit a friggin' escape. Wouldn't dare. I am drinking today. A uh, can of Galahad 79. It was cheap. So... Pretty weak, but it's it's not bad. Mm, enter. Mm. Not sure what to do. I still have the footage with me, yeah. Awesome. Dog corpse. Now I could cut it up, but I'm not sure I see a point in it. I can't really bring food with me. I'm not that hungry, so. Poach. <coughs> 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 Oh, apologies. Uh, just dying here. Ugh. I, um... Um, <clears throat> something went with my breath there when I try to speak. Bad mother has a concussion and is somewhat disorientated. Uh, they th that comes after dying of the traumatic brain injury. Good to know that was that brain was superfluous. Excuse me. Empty house. Cannot even take that. Uh, crowbar looks nice, but <sighs> killed that guy for no reason. All right, I remember now what I was up to. Hmm, finally I lost blood. I'm already bandaged.
Wish we could just turn the can sideways. I'll have to leave it behind. That inventory shuffle is a uh, free choice. Uh, it's a free thing. Um, should I try and clean up some water? Don't think I have the uh, storage to do so, or the uh, wood to do so. I'm not going to go into Zom Zoms. It seems like the bracelet is needed to talk to the um, people up top that the guide recommended talking to. Um, okay, this whiskey is not helping. It is fluids. I don't see how it doesn't help. There we go. know that one. Okay, that looks poor there. Some water here. I wish that stuff could just be added automatically. So I don't have to keep going back and forth, back and forth. I suppose. I could do that. <sighs> uh, scope, the lighter, some ammo. They don't take up much space and they go for a hell of a lot. I do would I do would like um Fantastic Grammar. I would like to um Sorry, I keep hitting off the mic. What the hell did I say? Maybe I got the traumatic brain injury. Okay, I'm gonna go check what the hell I even said there. It's bugging me. <laughs> Okay, still no idea what the hell I was saying. I had to listen for once during the recording, but still no idea. Hmm. Rename, rename this. There we go. Um, after the talk, not interested.
Okay, I didn't... I didn't even get an update. He, this dude just died. I'm sure he didn't have a heart attack. Mm, neither. Um, I think I was going to say something about the ammo. I do like the idea of using a gun. I also like the idea of selling them. It's, it's great money, but uh, I'm not sure. Mm, the wrench is nice, but... Uh. Also, apparently doing that urn quest is actually rather difficult. Uh, someone was saying. Um, they One person managed to do it, but died on the return trip. Um, they got got poisoned on the way back, because of those toxic, those burnt out swamps. They are highly toxic. So, yeah, they died there. Uh, they got turned it in, but then died because of it. Lingering effects. Um, he. So, yeah. I don't think I have the electrician skill this time, so I question if I will have a way out of doing that quest. Um, we'll have to make it work. Jesus Christ, we're just blitzing people. Electric. Severe pain, fallen, do another surge. You're still alive somehow. Do it again. Uh, a bag of stuff. Empty out. Shotgun with strap. Broad spear, gauss rifle, shotgun, meat for medium sets for a corpse. Uh, now I have a gun! Hunting rifle with scope and strap. It's nearly broke. Hmm. So glad I noticed it and took it off. I didn't think I was, uh, hmm, automatically wearing it. I, didn't, I just didn't think of it. Emergency. As economic downturn puts squeeze on local government, local firefighting and law enforcement services are being reduced to stem hemorrhaging budgets. Wow, I actually managed to sleep for once.
I do like the rain. Grace. Why do I have such great difficulty seeing the enemies from the get-go? Oh, I have Apia, yes. I need to get that fixed. Obstacle. My surge. My attack. Lure. My surge. It's finally updated. Coughing blood, bleeding. JT Smooth. Ooh, wear short shorts. Spaz Jeanswear is making fa fashion return. Jeans wear the, the jeans wear designer is back with a vengeance, and this time it is a more difficult plan. Uh, it has a different plan for more exposure," said Tony Bobberts, Spaz CEO. I started thinking about how impersonal assembly line clothes can be. What could I do to make them more of a personal expression? Suddenly, I realized that it wasn't what I could add, rather what my customers could cut away. So nice of water just to remain for like however long I've been gone. Like it didn't soak into the ground or dissipate. Laptop battery. Take it. Ok, 
Okay, I have to go like 12 to the right. And then up 40. Up 30. So I'm 2 to the right. 1. Uh, we'll stay here for a little bit. I still need to get a shopping cart. And so badly. We'll accept that in else, but... Jesus. If I could get that to a place... Shouldn't have destroyed them. These guys never want to fucking talk. Why would I surrender? This guy's half dead. I saw loot there. value. I keep forgetting I need a shoe. Maybe I'll look something. Okay, there's the crowd of cells you saw. One, two, three. Okay, I'm three across. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 12, and I wish I could zoom out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. As, as weary as I was. Twenty-eight, 
29. The forest here has eyes. More than a few times now, you could swear you've seen something in the periphery. You never do catch it, but it's there. You're in a forest and something's watching you, you're almost certain of it. Tracking. Check the local floor for clues. You stoop to the ground to look at some of the plants here. If this creature's natural habitat, maybe there'll be clues. At first, you see little that catches your eye. You can't see anything to distinguish this forest from the last. But then you notice it. Something is pruned. Excuse me. Something of the fruit bearing plants here. It's subtle and you almost dismiss it as critter activity. Or there's something deliberately and completely stripping some of these plants of anything ed edible. Continue into the forest. Whatever. Think you go stuff itself you're going in. Plotting onward, all seems still again. You begin to wonder if what you saw was your mind playing tricks on you. Or maybe you passed it in and out of some creature's territory. Your thoughts are interrupted when you notice some of the ways off to your side. It's not in shape and wearing clothes, but also has a face as white as plaster, with a raccoon like blackness where its eyes should be. Staring right at you and makes your neck chill. Go out to it. Trying not to tip scales towards hostilities, you go out to it. In return, raises a hand, and, uh, hand, palm towards you. Several more appear simultaneously in a wide circle around you. Uh, seemingly from nowhere. Stranger, says the first. Then to protect the lands. What are your intentions? Peaceful. I don't mean any harm, you say. The figure speaks again. We'll take you to speak with one of the elders. Must wear this. Those are the blindfold and restraints. Sure. Okay, you say, and f wait for the instructions. One that fixes the blindfold over your eyes. Meanwhile, your hands are bound behind your back. Uh, despite the restraints, the whole process proceeds without any unnecessary force. Seems you both handle both caution and respect. You're turned in place and led through the forest. Could I get a shoe, please? Minutes of sound, sound traveling later, you begin to hear sounds. Not of not forest sounds, but people sounds. Tools being worked, a crack from a fire. Voices startle you from your strained listening. Your captors are talking, but not in English. Not in any you, re uh, not in any you recognize. So one of them calls out, and this voice responds. It sounds like you're entering a camp of some kind. You smell wood burning. Your arrival causes a stir, and you stop moving for a moment. More talking. You're turned in place a bit, and then taken away from the heat of the flame for a while. Finally, your journey stops. Your bind, your bindings and blindfold removed. As the blurriness clears, you see that you're in a village. Dome-like buildings surround the great fire with equal parts animal hide and repurposed junk for walls and shelter. Around the village, a mix of regular folk and chalk-faced warriors go about their business. Many are more casually interested in your arrival. Many more are, many are more than casually interested in your arrival. Taken to meeting uh, to a meeting area near the great fire. In front of you, you see a middle uh, a portly middle-aged woman st uh, in front of you a portly middle-aged woman stands by one of the warriors her jacket is the color of a sunset against which is so um silhouetted a majestic gray crane hey man she says pretty crazy gig we got here right she looks around as if arriving here with you for the first time oh she reaches her hand forward michelle you should get roped into talking to the foreigners sort of comes with the badge she points her thumb at the crane uh a uh, jack dodum Come on, she turns towards the village, let's walk. Can I get a shoe? Uh, a small entourage in tow, you walk idly towards the fire. Gotta ask, Michelle begins. You know, Philip? She, she's careful not to telegraph too much, but can tell this big thing on her mind. Yes, that's me. My name's Philip Kindred, you reply. Does that count? I knew it! She pumps her fist with, like she just won a bet. Oh, Ghostface McStaberson back here had you figured for a grave robber. Uh, so many questions. You know me? So wait, you, you interrupt, you know me? Yeah, she exclaims. Well, no, not personally. Here. She steers you towards the hut. Warm light spills from within, and she draws back a flap to reveal a mixture of handmade and recycled furnishings. Michelle reaches over a cluttered desk and pulls a frame down from amidst dried roots, photos, and other mementos on the wall. She hands you the, fra the hands frame to you. Hold the frame up, examining the old photograph. It appears to be a newspaper clipping done in that old, small town print where the colors don't line up. It's you, or at least someone who looks just like you. You've been here before, she says, looking over your shoulder. Check out the talisman. 
You look incredulously at her for a moment and look at the photo. Sure enough, they're wearing the talisman. Photo caption, the photo's caption reads, Local website editor rekindles interest in native history. Flip the frame over, looking for more, but there's only one thing scrolled in the back. September 2019. She asks a question. My turn, she says. Where have you been hiding this? She holds up a photo. Says, where have you been hiding since this? And more importantly, how come you don't look any older? Uh, say about the cryo facility. Ever heard of the Gage's cryo facility? Might as well cut to the chase. Guess this explains a few things she ponders. Fortunately, you continue. I can't tell you much more than that. I can't remember anything before coming out of cryo. It's like the hibernation point in my memory. She still looks deep in thought. What is this talisman? So wait, you don't know anything about talisman? Is it getting uh, more more complicated nonetheless? Know anything about it? She chuckles. My man, we made it for you. Then she asks, well, sort of. Just stare dumbfounded. Oh, this is good. She seems to like her confusion. Here, the, let me explain, she begins. Faking bad English. It's protective talisman, she starts. Some ancestors carried copper pieces for both protection, look, and protection. This one, she points to yours, you brought to us. My father said you are hiding from a spirit and that you need protection from it. She continues, the symbolist in ours, I don't recognize it, I'm not sure where you got it, she admits. But my father asked the Midwini of Nuke Dukem, you call them medicine men, they called the medicine man. Nuki? Dudum? That. Honestly, sounds like I'm taking the piss out of him, but okay. Uh, to give this talisman power to protect you. Spirit won't harm me while I was on. It was a powerful ritual, she recalls. It was one of the events my father recounted on several occasions. She points to the talisman again. That thing was a big deal around here. Spirit was after me. Did you say spirit? She holds up her palms. Hey man, your words, not mine. Father said you were talking about something hunting you. Hunting you. For what? What did I do? Don't ask me. I don't even know if you told my father. Well then, what was spirit? Oh man, father probably told you. You had some pretty specific instructions and not all of them were uh, germane to us if you catch my drift. Germane? What do you mean? Like foreign? Yeah, thing you're running from? It wasn't ripped from the pages of our history, if you know what I mean. Never seen or heard of it. Still, she can see some spirits are like that. Not everyone sees the, uh, not everyone sees the same. Can you help me get rid of it? From where it's shot, right? Me? Probably not. She can see your hopes take a dive. Not even sure the people could do it. You mean the Ash uh, Ashinabi? Yeah, sorry. That's just our word for the people. Ashinabeg, actually, for plural. Actually, she hurries to add, this, this is a spirit from someplace else. How do I get rid of the spirit? So what do I do? Suppose I want to get rid of this thing chasing me, because you know I do. What next? Well, she ponders, Some, how you got its attention, right? Means something made you see, uh, seek us out when you did, and not before. You're thinking whatever it was might be a clue. Totally. Thinks for a minute. You come to us after work on that website. The new Earth... Ostracon thing. So spirits don't like the internet? She chuckles. Think about it a sec. You had to knock on a fair number of doors to get that info, right? Probably to start more than one spirit digging that up that data. So he mused sarcastically. Narrowed it down to any paranormal occurrence listed on a website. Trying to list everything, every single one in history. She laughs. Yeah, now you're getting it. You shake your head. Seriously, though. She holds up a bind. Ooh, just got a pro uh, message. Give me a moment. Oh, since the stop recording button's no longer highlighted, I'm always so fucking scared when I see that it's not highlighted that I'm not actually recording. It is fucking terrifying. Hey folks, and I'm back. Zero, one, two, three, four. Let us continue. There's a button. Seriously though, she holds up a binder. We printed off a section. This place ain't exactly high tech, you know. I think there's gotta be more complete copy out there somewhere. You mean like the cyber cafe down the block? Jeez, man, stop being such a downer. Sorry, you see, more calmly. Optimism's a bit of uh, optimism. Optimism's a lot of work these days. So it's been mopey all the time. It's out there. She says has to be. I mean, this dot was on everyone's computer at one point, right? At least someone's got to. Uh, at least everyone who contributed to it.
Uh, that's true. It can't be wiped from everywhere, she reasons. And if it is, then you're screwed, Philip. You can say that again, honey. For those who don't know, that is actually my name. Philip, yes. If you want to... I'm not sure... I know I said my surname in a video. Though I don't know if that video ever went live. No, well, the one I'm thinking of never did. I did a bit of a Borderlands 2 playthrough. Years and years ago, it's never going live. Fuck no. I think it's from the era that I... ...privated. I never released it, but it was from that time period. Some of it, some of it is up on YouTube, but most of it's probably still. Oh fuck! I think that might may have been on my Mac. Well, so meaning it's damned to the uh, abyss. Uh, my Mac. Uh, <sighs> I moved my Mac into another room. Moved it back into my room when I got my. Uh, PC, uh, my Windows P PC, the pre previous one to this, and I was trying to salvage stuff off it. And the monitor, when it turns on, would flare white and then dim down. Uh, standard. But what I found with the Mac after it being in the other room for a while, it would flare white and shut off. I was able to open the, I uh, get it working once and try and render out, but. It was kind of chugging and shitty. So I would turn it off, turn it back on, hoping that would fix it, and then it just didn't work from then on. I eventually just moved it back into the other room, and I've just generally forgotten about it. It just... I lost what was on it. So, yeah. Lost the first time I'd lost stuff. Uh, I was using a program before to delete sessions when I was done with them. But the thing is, when you delete a set, it was hop back to the previous thing. Rather than using the folders and stuff, I was using this for whatever reason, I don't remember. So, like, you go through the different menus, and so it's like, you know, user, documents, Camtasia, recordings, and then you see recordings. So you delete, say, Bargy Barg Session 1. It'll pop back to recording. I didn't notice that once, and just hit delete, thinking it was highlighting the next one. So I deleted the whole folder, all my recordings, all of them, all of them, and um, yeah, I lost, uh, f you know how I have those alt runs in WoW, um, Chandelin, Cal Calderin, Calderin, um, I had characters before that, there was a human rogue I was working on. Uh, lost footage from them. I think that was one of the things that motivated me to make new characters. One of the things. Um, the other thing was I was paranoid about the naming. Apparently, you're not meant to use real life stuff in characters' names. So I was like, oh, okay, gotta you know, can't I? I can't have Mitridantes. I gotta rename everyone. Or Jocasta. I gotta rename everyone. So I'll just re fucking do it all. I'm not spending, like, all that money on these alts, you know, I'll just replay it. It's not that big an issue. Which is why I have, like, Durkar now, and Gobnak. Uh, that brings a smile, uh, then you're screwed, Phil. That brings a smile to your face. Well, at least we can agree on that. Come on, she says, I'll show you, let's show you around. She starts heading towards Great Fire. You're standing in the... A Shinanabe tribal nation's gathering area by the Great Fire. Around you, you see an area where people are sharing a meal together and a trader of goods. Further away, you see a cluster of huts near a sweat lodge where Joe, the Nuke Midwini, tends to the sick and wounded. That's a trading post. 
The drink boat seems to be a place where traders resupply and offload items which may be of use to Shinobi. A large portion of the inventory appears to be handmade items from local materials and some scavenged goods. Pick up items, purchase them, or drop them, sell them. Train post. Okay. Hmm, you can buy tannin off them. I could, in theory, sell it to them, but... I remember hearing... Oh, this is actually a carry tent. I remember something, one of the guides I saw was saying how important the Travis, 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 yes, uh, Travis here, touchdown, um, is, but I don't remember how so, the Shinanabe War Club, soft birch bag, it's tiny. Why would I use it? It's disgusting. Um. It's equal to the sled, which is fine with me. phone is missing its battery. I should probably just sell it. Mm. I'd love if there was a place to recharge here. I'll hold on to it till the city. Fact, that's expensive. Jesus. Uh, the trading post seems... Uh, <laughs> firm. Sit down for a meal. Bit of waste of money, so. Broach along the table and find an open place on the bench. Food here is plentiful and appears to be a mix of roasted and roasted and dried meats, roasted corn or maize, baked squash and beans. Also assortment of berries and other fruit. Overall, the meal is hearty with diverse flavors of savory and sweet. Fills your stomach and uh, allowing, uh, briefly allowing your mind to wander from minute to minute survival. The feeling here is one of sharing and respect. Visitors the table are asked to pay respects to the animals that give their meat, three sisters for their fruits and all creation. In the distance you see fields of crops, but also semi-trailers, sheets of tarp over the frames, and other repurposed grow ops for their food. You can understand the real sense of urgency that primitive roles must feel watching over this place. The, the first line they walk and keeping the rebel, ru rubble scum out when peaceful travelers passage. From a distance I keep seeing that as the horde icon from WoW. You're standing. Uh, this is Joe. You head towards a cluster tent near the edge camp by the forest. Patients reside here, helping to tend the area, many of whom are in rehabilitation from drug addiction or other conditions. Warriors are more visible here, giving the peace in an area where frustration and desperation can overcome the healing. Ahead is an oblong dome hut from which stem, steam emanates from the cool air. man adorned in bear symbology seems to be preparing the hut. This is Joe, the Midwani of the Nuke Dodum. Mm. No, no need. Gathering your things set off for the forest and wilderness beyond.
Uh, returning to the forest surrounding the ATN, it doesn't take long for the nuke warriors to intercept you. However, this time you're taken to an area nearby where a group of travelers has assembled. This group is led through the ATN perimeter forest for the village. The gu your guides lead you, probably intentionally, near enough to see a pitfall being excavated and then warn you not to stray. The group stays close, not wanting to wander into stare, and close to an hour later, you begin hearing the sounds of the village. Okay. And the other one, I cannot, just can't speak to her any further. Um, is there anything I need or want? I could offload stuff here. Hmm. Get off of these and have plenty of cash. Um, we should have an easy way to take that thing out. Uh, poisoned goods to them. Oh, they'll love me. This is a great one, though. Uh, if you have the equipment to handle it. Stand here. Hold this. Um, dogmen will uh, start hunting me. And I would be able to get tons of dogmen fur coats that I can immediately sell off for tons of money. If I can handle fighting a dogman. Of course, you don't know if you can handle fighting a dogman till you uh, survive your fight with one. So I'm not going to do it anytime soon. What I'm going to do is head towards the city now and hand over my fi uh, file to the other guy. He'll be like, wow, you're awesome. And he'll give me a pass in the city. Actually, that meaning I don't need to do the earn quest. Yes. Okay, I didn't eat that cooked meat, I just bought it. Good. It wasn't a waste, though. Oops. Okay. I do swear this game's gotten meaner. I don't quite remember all these failings when I had the loot thing so goddamn high in the demo. Oops, sorry. I was just trying to scratch my face. Dehydration. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. 
can I be honest, folks? My head's been elsewhere this whole time. I've been kind of stressing about something around. Nothing I can deal with right now, but my mind just keeps fixating on it. And obsessing. Stressing. And it'll be easy enough thing to sort when I can sort it, but I can't sort it right now. And it's all I can fucking think of. I was trying to play to distract myself, but... Well, you saw well that went. I'll just leave it here. I've... I've kind of fucked up enough. <sighs> fucked up enough. Just the dehydration meter went down much faster than I fucking expected. Goddamn.